here on Fox. And great to have Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, the Grand Marshal. You're going to do the start your engines. Can't wait for that tomorrow. I am. First of all, good to see you boys. And I can't wait for it as well. We got a little rained out. I was hoping we didn't. However, we want the track safe, obviously, for our racers. And, man, I cannot wait. I'm sticking around. I'm going to say it tomorrow. Yeah, your awesome. anticipation, big events, WWE, football, acting, entertaining. What do you expect from this one? What's your experience been with auto racing? Uh, I, I'm always blown away by the energy of the crowd, and you know it, it's why we do what we do. Whether it's here behind the microphone, driving in the ring, on the field, whatever it is, you always want to connect with the crowd. And I've always been blown away by the, the by the racing fans and the energy and the electricity. There's a word I like to use, mana, and you can feel it. And that mana man, I, look, I, I felt it when he walked up yeah. here. Whoa. You said he's a big man, yeah, yeah. and he is. I, you know, I got. I got a little kooky last night because I couldn't sleep, so I went to the gym at midnight, and I drove by the stadium here, and every light was on, and, and that That's was cool. at midnight, and it was very cool. Those are words Clint's never said, that I got bored last <laughs> night and I went to the gym. <laughs> he needs some help with his chin. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> take me to the football. That's new opportunity, right there, UFL, man. baby, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> take me to UFL, the opportunity yeah. here, and, and your involvement, the excitement of it, new season, yeah, new endeavor. We, we can't wait. New endeavor. Uh, it is combined leagues of the XFL and the USFL, and we're super excited about it. We believe in this league. Uh, I think you're going to see great football here on Fox, of course. Uh, you're you're going to see uh, passionate players, but also you, you get to see players who are grabbing uh, the thing that we all want, which is opportunity. Right. And look, I, I say I. Making it to the NFL was my dream. It never happened. And I like to say it was the best thing that never happened for me. Thank you, brother. And, um, uh, but because it gave, a chip, gave me a chip on the shoulder, and a lot of our players, dare say all of them at the UFL, got that same chip because they're ready to go. So I cannot wait. Hold on. Speaking of passion, you brought somebody with you. General George is with you. I did. Your passion for recruitment, the Army. Tell me about that. Absolutely. Uh, General George is here from the Army. Uh, and, you know, I've gotten to know General George, uh, and we've become pretty good buddies. And what I love and admire about General George is his commitment to making sure that our men and women of the U.S. Army get everything out of that experience uh, that they need to. And of course, he's deeply passionate about the recruitment of the Army. And I, I love all the work that he's doing, he and his fellow uh, Army men and women over there. Well, we, we have a lot of passion in our sport. And we've, yeah. we've had a few moments. And we thought it would be great for you to take a look at some of these past fights. And, and maybe just give us your take. This was 1979. This one goes way back. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, what's, yeah. Did I see a leg grab there? Oh, yeah. I <laughs> remember that this. One. This one drew a little blood later on. Yeah. That was, are they really fighting, Dwayne? Or is always it, keep your helmet on. Okay. Always keep always your helmet keep, on. Look at that. Oh! What do you think of that? <laughs> they're, they're really fighting. Well, he, uh, oh, yeah. That was a good right cross right there. Okay, so he, here's here's the thing about the First of all, those are pretty damn cool fights, I got to say. But also, it, it, it's the valuable lesson. Uh, and I'm not advocating for violence here uh, because I come from a world, thank you, I come from a world of violence, <laughs> scripted violence yes. in the world of professional wrestling. But anytime somebody breaks your space, your personal space like that, you either got to push them away or you got to swing because they're coming with intention. And that's what you see in those oh, fights. Swing first, only thing, swing hard. The only thing first, disappointing about those fights is they're all my size. They're all little guys that are actually <laughs> fighting. So listen, this weekend is all about fast cars. Yeah. But someone told me you have a good story about your first car. Well... It's a pretty good story. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was 15 years old, living in Nashville, Tennessee. We were down on Music Row, and I was hanging out in the honky-tonk bars. I uh, had no business being down there in those honky-tonk bars. <laughs> However, I was down there and uh, with a buddy of mine named Downtown Bruno, who since has become one of my best friends. A, um, we'll just say an inebriated human being <laughs> walked into the bar <laughs> and said, hey, who wants to buy a car? And I didn't have any money. We had just been evicted out of Hawaii. And I was living in a little motel room with downtown Bruno, and I said, uh, how much? And the uh, individual said, um, 80 bucks. And I said to Bruno, how much money do you have? He said, 40. <laughs> so I said, give me a 40. I gave the 40 to the human being, a guy. And uh, I said, here's 40, and uh, I'll come back and I'll give you the other 40. So out, he gave me the keys. Sitting right outside the bar was one of those big-bodied uh, Thunderbirds. Blue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, with the yeah. big, beautiful chassis on that thing. And then I, uh, so I took that car, and I said, let's go. Let's get out of here. So we were driving down uh, the highway, and I started to hear noise coming from the back seat. 
And in those big body cars, it's, there's there's a lot of room at the bottom. There was another inebriated person passed out oh, no. on the floor. Oh, so no. I pulled over, Quite a new got, friend. got him out. Uh, but that was my first right. car. Wow. Wow. We got, sorry, we've run out of time. You know how that is when you're a performer. I, yeah, I know you. Uh, good luck with that car, by the way. You'll see some great cars here. All right, March 30th, UFL on Fox. You still have the car? Kidding. No, 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 I'm oh. kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that we planned the that. The other 40 bucks is what he still has. The other 40 bucks. Don't great you know who you tells the jokes? The race. It's right, great yes. to be here, boys. Thank you. Glad you're all here, right. man. Uh, Thank you. J- hey, race fans. Thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.